Hi and welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween here at our YouTube channel. My name is Linda and today we're gonna make these wounds with fake barbed wire. This one is easy to do and uh, it doesn't need a lot of products or techniques. So if you are interested in how I have created this makeup, please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos we upload during the 31 days of Halloween, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Time to make fake wounds again. I have uh, some fake barbed wire I will use to make the wounds with. So my skin has been punctured by all these little sharp edges to the barbed wire. I have a pencil liner. I'm just gonna gently draw in where I thought the barbed wire should go. So replacing them at the correct spots in a bit will be important. So there are a lot of spots on my face now with where the wounds have got to be. And today I'm going to work with Meron Sin Wax to create all these little puncture wounds the barbed wire has created on my face. I think this is my first video with Sin Wax on the 31 days of Halloween. Um, it's not that I don't like working with Sin Wax, but I just didn't get a video in with the Sin Wax. So what you do is you get it out of the... A jar it comes in and you just massage it until it becomes soft it does it is sticky so don't massage it too long otherwise you will get a very chewing gum like substance for these uh, I need very small little puncture wounds so this is a lot of sin wax already I am gonna apply them in little bits all over the spots and then I will create the wounds with just making little holes in it. And that is the Sin Wax basically on my face. Now I'm gonna get my spatula and petroleum jelly to blend out all the edges so I can continue with making the little punctures for the barbed wire. And that is the Sin Wax on my face. Now I need to make those puncture wounds, so I'm gonna get a round tool to puncture the sin wax. The only thing I'm gonna do before applying the barbed wire is get the darkest color of the pro coloring bruise in the little holes I have created, as in a bit there will be barbed wire there. Now I'm going to apply the barbed wire in the same way it was on, or I'm going to try to at least. So there it's on and I have some holes created already with the Sin Wax. Honestly, I don't know if next time I would do the step with the Sin Wax, but now well, I've got it, so I'm going to go with it. But I'm back to the Pro Coloring Bruise and I'm going to color the uh, wounds and I think all the bits in between are also kind of irritated so I'm just gonna color it and see where it takes us then I'm gonna go on to the coagulated blood gel. This is the thick gel by Meron. I'm just gonna apply it on the starts of the wounds. So all the places where it has punctured my skin. So they, they don't all touch my skin but well, some of them do. And then I will continue with the stage blood Dark Venice by Meron. Also a very thick blood, but this will uh, run a bit when you put it on your makeup. So 
and that completes my barbed wire makeup you can make more wounds you could apply more barbed wire uh, don't think I would use the sin wax again but I already said that because eventually it didn't really um, contribute to this makeup it didn't really do anything as I planned before I started filming but anyway I hope you liked the video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel in the link below if you want to stay tuned about the 31 days of Halloween here at this YouTube channel the new video tutorial every day uh, for now I wish you a pleasant day and I hope to see you tomorrow bye bye